Good morning, everyone. How are you? Good? All right. So how about, um, I was thinking, you know, before I say anything about the working group, I wanted to just uh, give a hand to you all. Okay, so just thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the community. Uh, the work that you're doing is amazing. And it, just think about it that many of you are just doing this on a volunteer basis. And that's just so amazing. You know, there's a lot, a lot that you do that is valuable, not just to yourself, but to a lot of people. And um, in the community working group, we try to make sure that that experience of working with others is kept in great shape. And we want you to collaborate, we want you to work with each other, to understand each other across many languages, uh, many boundaries, and, uh, and to have you know, the best outcome. So with that in mind, I just wanted to explain to you a couple of things um, about this group. And <clears throat> um, just so you know, I'm going to explain the, the what we are, the why we're here, and how. Okay. And uh, no, we're not the community police. So just so you know, um, I think sometimes we kind of get that stick from people, but that's not what we do. Um, it's part of it sometimes, but not the main thing. So just so you know, um, we are a, a community of, of community helpers. And uh, we provide support and assistance to all of our members. And uh, we try to maintain healthy communications with each other. Um, we also address conflicts and issues. So uh, as you may know, uh, human interaction is very complex. Uh, and then on top of that, we have layers and layers of you know, other experiences that each of you have. So sometimes. Uh, you know, communication channels are not always as healthy as they can be, and we try to help maintain those. Um, we participate a lot in, in community chats. Uh, we have a mailing list where people can submit uh, concerns, and then we have um, a GitLab page where we, uh, we put all of our uh, complaints at, and we try to work them. Of course, that space in GitLab is private, so all of your information or whatever you are trying to tell us about is kept uh, secure. So we were composed in, we were put together in 2008, and of course, I was, I'm not a founding member of this group, I, I came in much later, but uh, now uh, we have three members. So we have Neofitos over there, we have David uh, in the back, and then myself. And um, we are very committed to keeping uh, our community safe and uh, in a good space for you to, to do your best work. Um, let me see. So I, I already said this, but one of the reasons we're here is because we try to make sure that, you know, uh, there is no misunderstanding between us. Sometimes, you know, we, we may have differences of opinion uh, uh, we talk, you know, again, our, our, langu our common language on the, online is English, but and there's a lot of translation that needs to happen. There's a lot of cultural aspects to our communication that need to be kept safe. And uh, not only that, there is sometimes intentional, um, it, you know, there's purpose in some people to actually disrupt our communication and our, our, our culture. So some of those things is what we have to watch out for. Um, and not only that, but what is sometimes, you know, if you think about it, what is the cost of having a bad experience? At the end of the day, we may lose you uh, as a contributor. You may be, uh, you know, unhappy about your experience. You may try gnome, right? <laughs> so careful, but... No, I'm just kidding. They're great. 
But I'm, I'm just thinking in general that a bad experience always leaves a bad taste in everyone's mouth, and not just for one person, but for many others that you know, may be indirectly affected by a problem. And so our purpose is to try to maintain and, and work and persuade and kind of bring people back to, 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 uh, to a healthy contribution level. Um, and not only that, I mean, just, just do whatever you want here, and we're happy to help you. Um, so, how do we do this? This is the part that is a little bit complex, and sometimes there's just not a whole lot of what I can say that would satisfy everybody, but uh, over time, we have tried to set up some, uh, some procedures in place so that you can actually have a, a safety net of, you know, you can have, there's a, a connection of trust with us. So the main thing is we have our mailing list, so if there's something that you'd like to tell us about, that you're concerned about, you're welcome to send us a, an email there. I'll show you a website at the end of this presentation where you can go. And, and just tell us what's happening. Then, after that, when you tell us about an issue, we try to investigate. Uh, we try to give people the benefit of the doubt. And we try not to take every complaint at face value. We uh, believe what you're saying. Uh, and we also want to, you know, put together the rest of the puzzle. So we go back to uh, people affected and we try to find out what their take is on a certain situation and tell us more, let us, let us understand. Sometimes the issues can be big, sometimes a con uh, or small, and a conversation is all we need to just make sure that everybody's back to, uh, you know, to peace, right? But uh, sometimes there are issues that are just simply too big and we try to talk about those with the board. Um, we try to reason within ourselves and, and with each other to know what is best to do. And uh, uh, the, main, the main outcome that we have as a group is to basically talk to the people affected and make sure that they soften their position and that they can understand each other's position as well and they kind of move forward. Um, if, if sometimes that doesn't happen, uh, it can go all the way, unfortunately, to removal. And that is a situation we want no one to be in. <laughs> it's, it's painful for everyone. So as you do your best work, you know, if there is something that is, is of concern to you, let us know so that we can catch issues early, so that we can correct early, so that we can help each other early. Uh, the more we wait, it's, it's just harder for everyone. So now, this is not snitching, right? What you're actually doing is telling us about something that, that, is, that is of concern to you and that needs to be said. Uh, so I encourage you to come over and let us know if there's something that we need to know. Um, and so finally, I just wanted to mention we're only three people and our, our group is, you know, at KDE is huge. We don't have all the cycles to be, you know, in every channel, <laughs> in every conversation. And not only that, we three people can, may not know everything there is to be done about a situation. So if there is any of you who care enough or deeply about keeping the healthy relationships we have at KDE, you're welcome to join. We don't have stringent uh, requirements for you to join, but definitely we want you to be aware that privacy is a must. So we want to keep our, our members' privacy private, uh, and we want to act rationally. So we want to work with each other first before we do anything. Um, but other than that, I wanted to thank you again. Uh, you guys are fantastic, are doing an amazing work, and we want to help you keep that, that, that all healthy. So thank you so much. I think that's it, right? No, okay, cool. Yeah, thank you, Andy. Uh, especially thank you and the other members of the community working group for your great work. Thank you.